from the beginning to incorporation period is called pre incorporation period from pre incorporation registration period to year ending is called post incorporation period first they acquire purchase incorporate then the later day year ending go start whatever the profit earn after incorporation is called revenue profit which can be used in distribution of dividend to shareholder but capital profit should not be utilized for distribution of dividend hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanya called by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management with the ashram first aid college a temple of excellence mysuru today in this session i am going to hand corporate accounting 1 third semester unit 2 session 1 in favor of profit prior to incorporation this is a unit 2 in the previous unit you can come back to how underwriting of shares and debenture we already dealt in the session 1 now we are going to go profit before incorporation and after incorporation i am going to explain what do you mean by pre incorporation period and post incorporation period if a new company is formed exclusively to acquire an existing business unit and take it over as a going concern from a date prior to its own incorporation then the business unit is purchased first this is important and the registration of the acquiring the company takes place at a later date first they acquire purchase incorporate then the later day year ending go start there are two types of profit is profit prior to incorporation profit after incorporation any profit earned from beginning to incorporation period is called pre incorporation profit whatever the profit earned from purchase period acquiring acquiring date to year ending is called post incorporation period so whatever the profit earned in the pre incorporation it is called pre incorporation profit whatever the profit earned after incorporation is called post incorporation profit profit prior to incorporation mean the profit earned by the company from the purchase business before its incorporation post incorporation profit or loss post incorporation period begins after the incorporation means before incorporation is called pre incorporation this after incorporation and ends with the closing accounting of the year from which date to which date from incorporation state to year ending is called post incorporation period from the beginning to incorporation period is called pre incorporation period i will repeat from the beginning to incorporation period is called pre incorporation period from pre incorporation registration period to year ending is called post incorporation period profit and or losses suffered during that period as called as post incorporation profit or loss whatever the profit whatever the loss suffered on that particular period is called post incorporation profit or loss these profit are called revenue profit you guys whatever the profit earned after incorporation is called revenue profit which can be used in distribution of dividend to shareholder but capital profit should not be utilized for distribution of dividend there are two types of ratios one is called time ratios and it's called sales ratio so time ratio from the beginning to pre incorporation period one from pre incorporation to year ending sales pre incorporation period post incorporation period time time ratio means from beginning to incorporation date is called pre incorporation period from incorporation to year ending is called post incorporation period ratio pre incorporation to post incorporation sales ratio pre incorporation to post incorporation this is a period this is sale pre incorporation period to post incorporation period this is sales ratio pre incorporation to post incorporation period slowly we'll move on to problem now excel limited was incorporated on one file so 
registered incorporated on which day 15 but running business starts from 1 11 to 15 is called pre incorporation period from 15 to 31 december is called post incorporation period these are all the expenditures are salary general expenses carriage on sale interest on debenture advertisement director fees audit fees interest to vendor depreciation gross profit so sales up to 1st may were rupees 4 lakh after 1st may it was 16 lakh so there are two item 4 lakh now i am going to say the time pre incur it was incurred on which day 15 2021 after running business which was started on 11 2021 it was started on 11 2021 pre incorporated on which day 15 so pre incorporation period from 11 2021 to 15 four months from post incorporation period from 15 2021 to 35 december 21 eight months so ratio 4 is to 8 One is to ten to is the time ratio. Then profit ratio based on sale. This is sales ratio. Sales up to first May is four lakh. From first May to year ending is sixteen lakh. So sales ratio four lakh is to sixteen lakh. If we cancel the zero, it is four is to sixteen. One is to four, so they are in the ratio of one is to four. So profit based on sales ratio, expenses based on time ratio. We'll move on to problem. So salary based on time ratio. What's your total salary problem? Ninety thousand. Ninety thousand in the ratio of what's your time ratio? Here, come back here. Your time ratio is one is to two. Salary time ratio one is to two. Ah, what's your total money? Ninety thousand. See that. Ninety thousand. One by three, two by three distributed in the ratio of one is to two. So thirty goes into pre incorporation. Sixty go to the general expense time ratio. Totally fifteen thousand. So five thousand goes to pre incorporation, ten thousand post incorporation. Then carry a on sale go to sales ratio. Carry on sales goes down to sales ratio. Your sales ratio will be here one is to four. One by five of thirty thousand is six thousand. Four by five of thirty thousand is twenty four thousand. Advertisement based on sales ratio one is to four. So pre incorporation period is eight thousand. If we distribute in the ratio of one is to four, pre incorporation period is eight thousand. Post incorporation is thirty two thousand. Interest on debenture allocated post incorporation period. Director fees directly allocated to post incorporation period. Audit fees allocated directly to post incorporation period. Then interest to vendor here. If the problem, if you look after the problem, up to thirtieth June six months. First four months is pre incorporation. The balance another two months is there. Totally, how many months are there? Six months. January, February, March, April, May, June. How many months? Six months. Out of six months, four months is the pre incorporation. Two months is the post incorporation. This is four is to two. Totally eighteen thousand. Four by six of eighteen thousand is twelve thousand six thousand. Depreciation on time ratio based on time ratio ten thousand twenty thousand. Your gross profit is your on the sales ratio. It is in the ratio of gross profit one is to four. So one by four of uh, your total. See that four lakh is there. So. One by five of four lakh is eighty thousand. This is one by five of totally three four lakh is there. 
वन बै फाइव फोर लाख इस एटी तौस टू प्री इन कॉर्पोरेशन फोर बै फाइव आफ फोर लाख दट इस थ्री लाख ट्वेंटी तौस गोस टू पोस्ट वट इस टोटल अमौंट फोर लाख विच हेज बी डिस्ट्रिब्यूट इन द रेशो वन इज टू फोर वन बै फोर आफ फोर लाख मीन एटी तौस गोस टू प्री इन कॉर्पोरेशन पीरियड फोर बै फाइव आफ फोर लाख इस थ्री लाख ट्वेंटी तौस टू पोस्ट इन कॉर्पोरेशन पीरियड so all the expenses based on time ratio profit whereas the profit based on sales ratio profit this is gross profit based on sales ratio all the expenses based on time ratio if you add all this figure totally 80000 320 the difference will come 9000 to prem corporation period One lakh thirty-one thousand to post in corporation. That this profit will be transferred to capital reserve. This profit is transferred to absorption. So I have given a note. Any profit turn capital profit transferred to capital reserve account. Revenue profit transferred to statement of profit and loss, which can be utilized for distribution of dividend to shareholder. So. Revenue profit can be utilized in distribution of dividend to shareholder, whereas capital profit should not be utilized. It will be go to capital reserve account. So, expenses based on time ratio, profit based on sales ratio. These are all the expenses directly charged to post income, which are primary expenses, director fees, interest on debenture, donation by the company, interest on capital. Interest directly goes to which period? First in corporation period. Hope you understand. First, you have to what you have to calculate here. First, you have to calculate what is the pre in corporation period and post in corporation period. Then you have to calculate the sales up to pre in corporation period and post in corporation period. So we require two ratio. One is called time ratio. Another is called the sales ratio. Time ratio is be utilized for distribution of expenses, where the sales ratio will be utilized in distribution of gross profit. Hope you understand. This is ten mass question. We'll move on to next session. Another four or five questions regarding this for ten mass question. Then we'll move on to fifteen mass. So there will be they will ask two question. One for ten mass, one for fifteen mass. One for ten mass, one for fifteen mass. So. We we'll solve about five problems. We are going to solve about five to six problem, ten ma. Another six problem, problem fifty ma. We'll meet in the next session with another problem. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class.